How's it going? Well, I know in some of my videos I've mentioned that I didn't have my boat or that my trailer was having issues. Well, the issue is, you can see right there, the hub let go. I was on the way to the lake uh, one day, and unfortunately, we've been a we've got a hold of a few different tow companies, and none of them want to tow it, uh, or not tow. They won't even put them on the flat back of their flatbed truck. So my local marine shop, I actually called them and I wanted to get to them because it's a warranty issue. I've only had the boat a year and it has the Vortec hubs on it and it's under warranty. So that's one reason I really want to take it to them. So they actually, nice enough for them, they got a hold of me and said, look, we know you're having issues getting it here, but if you feel like you're mechanically inclined enough, go ahead and as you're taking it apart, because I'm afraid there's axle damage. That's why I'm doing this whole thing. I'm afraid there's axle damage. If it was just a bearings, I would just replace them and call it good. I wouldn't even worry about the warranty thing. But I'm afraid there's axle damage. But they said, go ahead and take it apart. And I could email them pictures and a video of the spindle if I think there's uh, axle damage. or And if not, they, they have the bearings in stock. Uh, it might take a little bit to get, the, I think, the cap and the hub if there's hub damage. But um, they said, go ahead and take it apart. If there is damage, then go ahead and start a claim. That way they can get the parts coming and then possibly even send out a mobile mechanic if the warranty work does need to be done to actually do the work. But they feel that I can go ahead and just take it apart. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kind of film some of it as I'm doing it right now. I'll use my phone um, to take some of the pictures and videos to send them, but give you guys kind of a glimpse of what I'm doing. So anyways, we're gonna get to it. Uh, hopefully I don't have to take it to them. Hopefully it is just a bearing. I don't wanna have to wait on an axle because it's probably months out from what I hear, so. You know, we're gonna get to it. So I got the wheel jacked up before I take the wheel off. Yeah, that's not normal. I said, hopefully there's not axle damage, but we're gonna go ahead and get it taken apart and see. As you guys can see, looks like there is spindle damage. It all comes off there. All the oil and everything, the grease. So we're gonna go ahead and get some videos and photos taken of this and get them sent over to the shop and um, Let's see about go ahead and get a warranty claim started, looks like. Look what finally came. Nope, not the saw. Finally got the axle. And looks like it comes with everything. It's got leaf springs on there. It has a brake line, so I imagine the calipers and brake rotors and hubs and everything's on there. But the whole story is, is my boat's been down three months and they didn't think the axle was even going to be here this year but i ended up getting it yesterday so um dexter didn't want to um warranty the axle for me even though their hubs are the ones that caused the failure but luckily jeff panero over at gailey's marine in bakersfield they hooked me up they got a hold of tracker wrote a long story to them told them you know what happened and everything well Tracker decided to goodwill me an axle and not only did they send me an axle, they sent me everything. It has leaf springs, brake rotor, it's, it's complete. It's like all I got to do is four leaf spring bolts and disconnect the brake line. That's it. So I'm going to get with it. exactly what we get here. Looks like a 
in shifting, even though it looked like it's packaged pretty well, but they messed that hubcap up. Those things are sensitive anyways. You can't even look at those things wrong and they go bad. But let's see, brake line, where does it attach? It's, oh. Just kidding, it's not that heavy. Yeah. Looks like it just goes in one side and then shoots over to the other side. Alrighty. Well, let's get the old one out, get this one put in. Knocking over one of the jack stands and kicking the boat out. Alrighty, that one's out. Let's get the other one put in. Just kidding, it's not that. Well, it looks like I'm missing a couple zip ties on the brake line here. A couple more zip ties on this brake line. Zip ties fix everything. Pretty much. Alright, slide the new one in. I really hate that the cap is all messed up. I think I'll order some of the metal ones though. These, uh, these plastic ones suck. All right, she's good to roll. Hook her up. Look water. Yeah, that'd be nice. Check the other axle, make sure there wasn't a metal sleeve inside here. Now it's just the plastic one, it looks like. So, come on, there you go. There you go. To that pry bar in the ribs does not feel good. Oh, same with the other side. A little too much. And too much there. All right. Bind. Yes. That could have been bad. But if we put it right in the right spot. That's on. I gotta go and 
tighten up all four of the nuts on them bolts, hook the brake line back up, and bleed the system. But I'll get back to you, uh, maybe when I'm bleeding the brakes or I'm trying to get the wheels put back on. But I'll give it to you, in. That's it. She's back together. Had my neighbor come over, help me bleed the brakes. They bled super easy. There's only one bleed screw on this side right here because uh, they connect from the other side. There's no bleed screw on that side. But topped it off. It used probably about half, about half a little bottle of brake fluid almost. Because I mean, it came dry, so calipers were empty. Yeah, you just used some dot three brake fluid. Um, just had him pump the front brakes up there and I bled them. It only took maybe four or five times and it was solid because getting solid fluid out of there but I didn't want to make this video to bash on any company or anything like that but Dexter Marine you're garbage. They didn't even want to help me out. Um, they did send me a hub. I will send them that but they have a known issue. Stay in the yard guys. They have a known issue with their with their hubs. They should stand behind them. It caused axle damage to mine. It caused my boat to be down three months. And it's not acceptable. But shout out to Tracker because they stepped up. Trailer was out of warranty by a couple months. But they stepped up and goodwilled me an axle. It did take them about a month to get here. They had to make it. They make their axles in-house. But yeah, they stepped up and goodwilled me an axle. And can't wait to get it back out on the water. So it's been a while. So, anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. It was probably going to be a long video, but, you know, I'm just happy to have it back together and ready to go now. Can't wait to get it back out. Anyways, you guys like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and goodbye.